God. Oh no, not her. I should have warned her. I never even asked her name. At least nobody's going to starve anymore. Warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay and surrounding counties. The emergency broadcast system is now... Go get him, Juliet. I think being trapped in a diner is probably the best place to be at the moment. Door. Yep, door. Max! Frank's okay. Oh, Max! I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. I know. There. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. Okay, Warren. How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. Two moons? I'm so stupid. I should have seen it coming. Hello, Jin Jin. I'm so glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. Sorry. We talk to no, Frank? no, I'm just a pussy. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Uh, we'll have to tell him as well. He's, she's dead, dude. I'm sorry. Frank, I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Pompidou hated him! Yeah. He saw... He saw Rachel. Yes. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? Drug overdose. He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? Oh, shit. The only way That's Nathan could have done idea. that is, is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No. What have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Well, Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. 
Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. Poor Frank. Poor Joyce. We're not gonna tell her. Hey, Pompadou. Can you turn around properly so I can actually... This is going to be one of those meditative thing on the walls. Max, give yourself one moment to do nothing. This is where I convinced Chloe I could rewind time. So, what's the point of this power? What's the lesson? To keep fixing what I keep fucking up? No, because. I didn't ask for this gift. But I, I was able to stop Mark Jefferson. And now I, I can stop Chloe from dying. For the last time. Okay, let's stand up. Thank you for the cuddle, Pompadou. You're a good puppy. He's just, he's just tapping Norman on some burgers Jesus. on the floor. Jesus, this is not... I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Cool shit, I can't though. believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I'd want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa, is that all? He killed Chloe. I have to go back in time. Jefferson already k killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? Yes. He dosed me. Rachel was killed. Uh. Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. He just needed mental help. Now they're both dead. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. All time together, you believe me, this is my fault? All this destruction is my fault. Give me a break. You sure the hell didn't give yourself time travel powers? I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. Now, I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I 
guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. Time but I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. So we're gonna go as far back Max, as we do, do you think this is the end? It's the end of this. Hey. Be careful out there. Kiss her, guy. Kiss her. Hug, kiss. Kiss! Kiss him! For luck. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Warren. Of course you do. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. Holy That's crap, why you're super waves. max. Those waves, though. Bloody hell. Oh, we almost had it. Come on. Uh, action. There we go. Phew. Oh man, I hope we can fix this seriously. We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Claude! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna Sorry, to Warren. To to Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? It's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Oh, just listen, now, Chloe! Me. I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Too dangerous. Nathan is dead. Nathan is dead. And you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson killed him. Jefferson hurt me. Jefferson is a psychopath. Jefferson killed him. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! Man, she just won't listen. I better rewind and do over. I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Too dangerous. Chloe, you can't get revenge if you're dead. It doesn't matter. I have to make Nathan pay for what he did to Rachel. And I know you've got my back. Chloe! Nope. Oh, you almost had her, Max. I... Nathan is dead. And you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me? Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. 
You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No. Not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm going to do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is going to turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Fucked up, terrible choice, nothing. Uh, I fucked up. I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? Back in time. I, I was able to go back in time to the last day. But you know, that probably is a terrible idea. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain. You were slowly dying. And you... You asked me to... End your life. But Chloe... There was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and s stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? He's not of going course to get away not. With it. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. David saved me. David cares if David was ahead of us. He saved me. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you. But I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. So she's going to forget. That's new. So that's changed to what? Them talking. The epic fight has changed into him turning up with a load of cops in attack vest. Her running around in the rain has changed to them watching the tornado coming in. So, are we near the end now? Oh! Chloe! I see that the real Mac is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Oh, you're alive! You're alive! Oh, both of us! I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked, actually. Worked. With me again. 
<laughs> Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And travel through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over and I hope it was worth it, but I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. Nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously. Something. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So, without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that, too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. And it's coming closer. Ugh. I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that! Look at the monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. Ready in, Uncle Henry. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. <sighs> Chloe! I got your back, Max. Oh, what the hell? She pass out? What? Alfred Hitchcock famously, co famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he couldn't I'm back in class. As he likely what the hell? These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. And our sorrow. I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who okay, perfectly captured this is the messed up. In black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? You're the newcomer, Kimmy. Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Other images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally else? haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? Wait, and frankly, what's tortured. going on? Nobody even cares? Seriously, though, I could frame any one what of you in a dark the hell? and capture you in a moment of desperate desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. Okay, we're stepping into Evangelion levels of weirdness now. Oh, that's too creepy. Look. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Not yet, you bastard. What the hell? That's still the same.
What the actual crap? Look. Oh no! Did they die at the lighthouse? Rachel didn't deserve any of this. Look at... I'm not going to take the bait. I'm not. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Punch him in the face. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. <laughs> Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. No. I like to think of it as our dark room. It's the only place I truly feel safe and protected from the storm. Of course, Max. I can capture you over and over. This is creepy. You can be my model for life. And death. We are going to be so happy together in the dark. Just make sure you stay pure. I won't like it if you get dirty like Rachel or Chloe. That was disgusting. This can't be real. I don't believe it. Okay, and now we're in the girls' dormitories. It's like Rebellion, Evangelion, and Utena levels of messed up here. <laughs> Kate! Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. Shit. And we just end up here. Let's go field animals there. Get then a bunch of random empty ones. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to see what popular is. Okay, we just end up back here again. All right. Yep. Yeah, okay, let's just get to our own room. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Crick. So we never went in the bathroom the first time. No bathroom for you. Okay, where did you last put those keys? Think. Think. Must school that. We can't even go into our own room. What about over here? I am the key master. This 
This hall never ends. I, I better find something. Okay, did we try going through the red room door? Let's check. This is not the best time for a prank. Keys, please. That's still the same. Check over here, nothing. Maybe the showers? There's five leaks here. Find me. 